Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. It's really early here. But I know I've got some things I need to get done today, so I want to get this out and try to get these readings in every day. I know I haven't um, been steady in doing that. So <clears throat> I'm working a lot harder as the Lord calls me to share His words with anybody that wants to hear them. I just pray for everyone who is in California during these fires again that everyone is safe, that their belongings are safe, their animals. Lord, we just ask that you put your hedge of protection around all of these people who are being inundated by these fires yet again. We know what it is. At least those of us with eyes to see and ears to hear, we know what's happening. And Lord, I just ask that you protect these people. We also know, Lord, that there's possibly some storms coming in um, that may affect the Gulf Coast states. Lord, we just ask that you turn these storms around and head them back out into the middle of the sea. Lord, we just ask that you spare the folks in the areas that might could be affected, which is Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle of Florida, I'm sure. And Lord, we just ask that you have mercy on these folks in these areas and these storms be turned away. And as for the flooding in the Midwest, we know that we're losing lots and lots of crops due to rain and high winds. Lord, we just ask that this stop, that our food supply is not damaged any further. Lord, we just ask that everybody come in repentance to you to ask your forgiveness for whatever they've done, as I do today. Lord, we just ask your forgiveness for all our sins, knowing and unknowingly. We thank you so much for your love, for your understanding, for your grace, and praise you for all the good things on this planet. We know that the enemy is fighting hard to win over your souls. Lord, we just ask that that not happen. And the souls that he thinks he already has, Lord, we just ask that they turn back to you Repent and be saved. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We're going to be back in Deuteronomy today, getting through chapters 29 and 30. I hope we have the time for that. So, here we go. Deuteronomy chapter 29. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab. Beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moses called unto all Israel, and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, and unto all his land. The great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs and those great miracles, yet the Lord hath not given you an heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear unto this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink, that ye might know that I am the Lord your God. 
And when ye came unto this place, Sihon the king of Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, came out against us unto battle, and we smote them. And we took their land, and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do them, that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and thy stranger that is in thy camp, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water, thou shalt <clears throat> that thou shouldest enter into the covenant with the Lord thy God, and into his oath, which the Lord thy God maketh with thee this day, that he may establish thee today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto thee a God, as he hath said unto thee, and as he hath sworn unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here with us this day before the Lord our God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the nations which ye passed by. And ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turneth away and this day from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of these nations, lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood. And it come to pass when he heareth the words of this curse that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace though I walk in the imagination of mine heart to add drunkenness to thirst. The Lord will not spare him, but then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and the Lord shall blot out his name from under heaven, and the Lord shall separate him unto evil out of of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book of the law, so that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land shall say, when they see the plagues of that land, and the sicknesses which the Lord hath laid upon it, and that the whole land thereof is brimstone, and salt, and burning, that it is not sown, nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adma and Zebulim, which the Lord overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all nations shall say, Wherefore hath the Lord done thus unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then man shall say, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they knew not, and whom he had not given unto them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger, and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, and it is this day. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. <clears throat> Chapter 30 And it came to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul. 
that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, and thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land, for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments, and his statutes were which are written in this book of law. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, for this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou sh shouldest say, Who shall go up for us in heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, who shall go over the sea for us, and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Excuse me one second. I gotta get a puppy up here in my lap. Come on, puppy. There you go. Oh, get over there and lay down. Okay. Sorry about that. But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy month, in thy mouth, and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, and death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou may, mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and thee, that thee, excuse me, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that, th that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jace, Jacob, to give them. And that will do it for Deuteronomy 29 and 30. I thank you so much for listening. I hope that you've got a blessing out of these words this morning, and that everyone has a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Thanks for listening. Until next time.